Hi everyone, this is Streams of Living Water. Today we're going to look at packing crates, the ones that bread deliveries are usually given in. So I've been to a few places and they've had some kicking around that people have just given me. It's good to look around and see where you can see these. And what I'm going to do today is show you how to make storage boxes that can stack into shelves. And um, yeah, what we're going to use is a knife, just a bushcraft knife, some snips, metal snips, some tie wraps, pliers, and let me show you what this is all about. Do you recognise these things? So these are just ordinary packing crates used for bread deliveries. I've acquired quite a few of these recently and I have I've been given them basically by various sources you can keep your eye out they're usually left outside this has been left outside for a while but luckily it hasn't rained in a few days so they're quite dry what I'm going to show you how to do today is to make stackable shelves so I just had the thought that you could put one on top of the other like so they're quite symmetrical and then I've gone to a local department store and I've bought 20 black cable ties for a pound. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to tie wrap these together um, and you can use needle nose pliers to pull them down and then clip them off with clippers and yeah let's get to it. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each crate that I've got and trim the excess plastic off so maybe you can see here there's like a, sh a shredded bit so I can just trim that stop it from catching stuff that I'm putting inside the storage area okay so obviously they usually stack like this there's not a lot of room in there so this time we're going to invert it, keep the handles at the same side. And they, balance, they don't they don't like click into place this way around, so as they are symmetrical I'm going to tie wrap them and I'll show you how I do that now. Right, so what I'm gonna do I'm going to put the tie wrap in over the top, pull it in underneath and attach. So that is loosely attached. I want to have the square that, that holds it down at the top and then I can pinch it down and make it really tight. And make sure I like to have it in the middle of this gap. Pull it down tight and then go along. Do however many you want but I use I only use about four. So let me show you how I do that. Right, so here you can see that if you pull down them, they're not getting any tighter. They're in line. So now I just cut the excess off. Maybe leave a little gap so that if it does give, it will come undone. Easy like that. And then you do the same on the other side. Watch this. Right, so here's the finished article. You can see I've just tie wrapped it on that side and the other side. Symmetrically, it's you know quite a bit of space in there. It's a solid piece held together with tie wraps. And then obviously you could do you know don't go crazy and put them too high, but you know you could do three or four, maybe five high these units, these storage units I created using two bread trays. Okay, watch this space and I'll make another one and then you'll see them stacking and how I attach them together. The reason why I say to keep the 
square piece of the tie wrap at the top so that when you can pull it down you're having a two to one ratio like a pulley system if you look, google it look it up pulling in that's a two to one ratio so you're pulling down using twice the force as, as if you were just pulling uh, one way like this way so it just gets it quite tight and the reason I said to use these snips is you can get it even tighter usually just by pulling it and some you can see how stable it is I've only done one side with it just staying in place even with this so there you go I'll do the other side and then I'll put them together and let's see how they look So I'm making sure that the handles are to the other side. If the handles are at this side, you're not going to get as much in there. There's a less of a gap here. So you can see the difference. There's like that much difference at each each bottom and top. So if you get the handles the right way, then you can have bigger gaps at the front. And then all you need to do is tie wrap these together once they're in place. And they fit, they stay in place really well. So yeah. All I do now is the same principle. Just find somewhere where the tie wrap can go straight down. I find in there is best. So I'll put one in here. If you wanted to make it like uber strong, just add more tie wraps and try and find more places, you know, to, to attach the tie, tie wraps and sometimes they are a bit weak and they snap. That's okay, just get another one. 20, 20 tie wraps for a pound. Pretty secure now. I, mean, ooh, I can lift it up and it's just totally solid. Oh, I set it up. Oh, not that idea. Oh. Right. So, do you catch my drift? Uh, it's like rain on your wedding day. Right, so, nice, lots of room in the storage containers. Thank you very much. See you in the next one.